Hey guys, Corpse Flood here, and if you're a huge retro gaming fan like I am, you're no doubt excited when Nintendo announced the NES Classic Mini, but we're also a little let down by the small amount of games included and the inability to add more and a few of the major titles being left out. But I'm here today to tell you that that's no longer the case and you can add whatever games you like and it's very easy and you don't need to buy anything besides, well, if you don't have a computer. But if you have a computer, you don't need to buy anything else. It's quick and easy and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let's go. Alright guys, the only preparations you really need to do before starting is make sure you have the NES ROMs of the games you would like to add uh, and also make sure that they are in the .NES format or they will not work and then make sure you download this program called HackChi2 I'll leave a link in the description showing you where to get that and then just have fun adding games click on add more games and uh, we'll add something random here uh, whatever, eight eyes, sure. And then uh, it'll show a blank card here as as the box art, but it, if you look to the right here, you can just click the Google button, and there you are. There's the cover for eight eyes right there. So now it won't look so ghetto in the actual menu when you're setting it up. And you can also select uh, how many players the game is, one player, two player, not simultaneously, or two player simultaneously. If you want to get really fancy, you can add the release date and the publisher that's not required really at all. And then you want to make sure after adding the games you want, uh, you can pick everyone specifically. If you only want a few of the original games left, you can uh, unclick the original 30 games. That'll be the only thing already on the program before you uh, add whatever games you like onto it and then you can just pick like oh I just want Super Contra and the three Mario's or whatever you can pick every game you want and just unclick the original 30 and add whatever you want manually uh, and then when you're ready to add make sure you add the driver you click on the driver tab here and it'll open up this menu at the bottom and then you just want to click the little icon with the gear and then you should be good to go then you're ready to hook up the NES itself and uh, you just click, hook it up with the USB make sure the power switch is off on it and then you'll want to hold the reset button down and then hold power until you hear the little ding there you are. Then you can release the reset button and then set it down somewhere safe and then click synchronize and it should just take a little while here to upload all the games and then I'll cut to it working and show you how good it looks when it's ready to go. Alright now when it's done transferring all the files and it gives you the OK to disconnect Make sure you disconnect and switch the power off, then hook it up as you always would, and then fire her up. She's ready to go. Just give her a second here. Alright, just like the day it was created. And as you see, all the games I've added are on here. I got a couple. Uh, Couple gems and a, and a couple games I just wanted to play so if you see something awful on here it's probably something I haven't tried out yet also if you see something missing on here uh, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll check it out a bunch of my favorites here a couple I've been wanting to try out for a while a couple of ROM hacks I got here a couple of Castlevanias all the original Castlevanias is, is you would expect from me. Added a whole bunch of more uh, two-player games. As you see, I didn't change the uh, two-player option on on Contra here, but it'll still work two-player no problem. That's just for the menu sake. And uh, as you can see, I've done an upgrade on the Contra cover to the way it should have been in the first place. Yeah, and all the games are on here and functioning, just as you would expect. 
all these, uh, I got a bunch of translated Japanese games. I threw everything on here just to try it out and it all worked out really well. So I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. So I guess uh, the video says 117 games, but with the one we added, I guess we have 118 now. All the Mega Mans, Metal Storm, Mighty Final Fight, the good Ghostbusters 2 game from Europe, Power Blades, Shadow the Ninja, Shatterhand, Smash TV, Star Wars, of course I had to leave Mario's on there, I had to get my Turtles, I've added just about every RPG you can think of on here. And of course I had to get the ROM hack of uh, Wilfred Brimley Battle, which is a ROM hack of River City Ransom starring Wilfred Brimley. And it is amazing. We'll play whatever here. Everything fires up. I didn't think the ROM hacks were going to work, but it turns out they do. So uh, I couldn't be happier. So as you can see, uh, yeah, everything's working just as you expect. And uh, hacking it didn't make it look real low quality or anything like that. So uh, there's the game we added just to show you that it worked. And we'll even fire that up to show you that it works too. There we go. So yeah, have fun, add what you like. Let me know what I should add that I didn't end up putting on here. If I didn't add it and it's awesome, I either don't know about it or I didn't, uh, I already own it. So be sure to give it a, a like, comment what you think, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you guys later.